My voice teacher said, hey, do you want to record some songs in the recording studio? Because she thought maybe this would be a great experience for me. And then I thought we could include a fundraiser through it. I would very rarely encourage the family of a 12-year-old kid to spend you know, what ends up being quite a bit of money on a recording project unless I really, really thought there was a good reason. The recording it turned out to be the type of recording that represents the best of what I have to offer. None of us are great at everything. Every one of us has something that we really shine at. And so if we all pull together with other people who shine at the things that we don't, then we all have what we need. Once you decide to hire studio musicians, you really want to hire like the best studio musicians that you can get because they're going to get it right on the first take and then they're going to move on to the next song. The fundraiser I'm doing is a fundraiser for human rights. I'm going to be donating the money to Amnesty International. She comes across as such an old soul and that I think is what strikes you most about her voice when she sings. I think the most stressful part of recording was listening to myself. The best part was just being in here with all the other musicians. I just felt so happy the whole time. I thought I was going to break down and be really frustrated, but I didn't. I just felt happy and energized the whole time. She seemed ready, and I think that the final product really speaks to that she was ready. She'd been 12 for two days when she was here, right? But the minute she opens her mouth, you go back to another era. So that's her gift to us. She was not really interested in the straight classical training, which is the direction I tried to put her on, because with a voice like that, you just want to train it up and send her out there. She really wants to just explore who she wants to be as a singer. She's taught me so much, and she's really an inspiration to me. I don't really know if this is what I want to do in life yet, but I know it's definitely more than a hobby. I was impressed with how chill she was. She walked in really focused and was actually in full command of what was going on. I mean, there was times out here where she's actually straightening these veteran musicians out on what the arrangement should be. And then, of course, she just opens her mouth. She just closes her eyes and she just sings the song. seem to whisper I love you birds singing in the sycamore tree dream a little dream of me say nighty night and kiss me Tight and tell me you'll miss me.